a problem occurs, don't go to Peer Saab and start exposing your issues and problems. It might not be as big as you make. It's probably trivial. The first thing you should do is, if you're angry, get out. The husband should walk out. Go get a break. Go eat something. Go chill out outside for a bit. Make ablution. Make ablution. Come back. Sit down. Hmm. Be a mature adult and talk about it. And say, look, what's the problem? Because it's that, uh, that state of anger and rage that leads to, obviously, a divorce. And it leads Ghadab. to, uh, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of uh, misconceptions regarding divorce. And it's obviously a part of our discussion today uh, in, in our communities to such an extent now that people are looking for loopholes to get out of the situation. Uh, but we have to really, uh, you know, educate our people. Uh, some people ring us and said, you're gusse with the talaq di yoriya. You know, Zarga la fer me be me as a me hushin alta queen in the talaq. True, yes, nobody does. Oh, gusse with the talaq di tasi. Zarga la banda is a state of anger, is in a state of rage. Uh, and, and this is why la taghdab, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do not get angry. Uh, being uh, angry and having anger is haram. It is forbidden. Ghadab bin uh, shaitan. Uh, yeah, and it, it, it's something that obviously leads to consequences and repercussions. It is uh, <coughs> going to become uh, extremely difficult uh, for a husband to backtrack uh, and to Retract. apologize once he said talaq hai, talaq hai, talaq hai. That's it, game over. Three strikes are out, people. You know, it, it's as simple Married as men, that. Don't get angry and do not resort to the word divorce because I tell you what, there is no way out. Not even as a joke. And this is a talaq bid'ah. This is the worst type of talaq. To give three divorces in one sitting. And sadly and unfortunately they give the divorce and they're still sleeping with her the same night. Not they're, knowing they're the not knowing that what they've, they've said. This tie. Albatta, correct me if I'm wrong, that even if they're in the state of drunkenness, yeah, yeah. they put themselves in that state of nasha. Therefore that divorce still stands. It still stands. You don't even need a witness for it. Some people message us, do you need two, two witnesses for a divorce? Yeah. Uh, like we have for nikah. It's a condition for nikah, but it's not for talaq, for, no. not the, for divorce. So these are s- small basic masail which people are, are Ill, uh, uh, Ill aware of or they're not, they're not ignorant aware of, they ignorant of these things. And, and it's something that has to be made clear. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ himself married many divorcees. You know, that in itself is, uh, shows, shows us that, uh, you know, it's something that is not frowned upon. You know, sadly and unfortunately, I touched upon it briefly yesterday. Um, some parents assume that, that their son or daughter has been divorced and others uh, think they have some sort of superiority. Uh, if, if the son brings a potential rishta home and she is a divorcee, parents will dismiss it or vice versa. Uh, and sadly and unfortunately, we have these issues uh, and, and problems. And there's so many. Man, we've got to understand the devil is our enemy. It's a hidden enemy that's out there that is around us all the time trying to cause problems and issues. You know, if we don't tame and control our nafs, it will cause us problems and issues. And these problems and issues occur in marriages. This is like, this is a touchy aspect of it. Like Imam Adil said, you've got to educate yourself before marriage on what divorce is. There's types of, there's talaq, which is sunnah, which is, which is permitted. That mm. you give one divorce and then she enters into her, into her menses. So she, you divorce her when she's in her pure state. Mm. She's not on a menstrual cycle or she's not on a menses. And then... <clears throat> in that state you give divorce she passes through a menses and enters if in that time you was to sleep with her or do anything intimate with her then you've retracted this is called ruju talaq raji'i hmm. you've, you've retracted that divorce don't make the talaq talaq ba'ina don't make it bound that you have to and you only have three strikes hmm. and after that then the concept of halala comes in and etc and it becomes very very tricky and technical complicated and complicated why put yourself in that scenario in the first place